Hi everyone, very good afternoon guys. I'm Dr. Preeti Sharma, your educator at Prep Ladder. And I have with me, it's an honor to be sharing the screen with Dr. Vedant, who's scored an amazing rank and has got AIR3 in the recently conducted uh, INICT May 2024 session. So obviously we are very eager to know more about you, Dr. Vedant. So the stage is all yours. Before you start, heartiest congratulations to you and your entire family. And Thank you so much. most welcome. And the first thing, of course, we would want to know about you, and then we'll move on to your preparation strategy. So the stage is all yours. Uh, hi, everyone. Myself, Dr. Vedant, and uh, I've done my UG from uh, Ames, Delhi, and I've been uh, I just completed my internship, and this was my second attempt. Okay, so your second attempt means that uh, if you are comfortable in sharing, what was your rank, or you know how how did you perform in the November INI twenty three? Uh, in November, I had a rank of twenty nine. Uh, oh, that's had... an equally good rank. I mean, um, so <laughs> what made you give another attempt, and what has been your journey from then to now? I'm sure students are very interested. Was in a blunder in uh, taking what I wanted. मतलब I, mean, I had thought कि I I was more of an intervention guy and I wanted to take surgery. Okay. Like I was. Inclined towards surgery back then, like though I used to like medicine as well, but I was thinking to more of intervention is is something what will satisfy me more. So right. I thought uh, I'll take surgery back then, and then I continued my residency. Then later I realized I was missing too much of medicine, and I wanted medicine back. Uh, and then I realized that later, like I worked for one and one and a half months, man. Then later I resigned, and then I came back to uh, back to my team and started preparing again. Uh, okay so we'll come to your preparation of course but something which is uh, a little interesting for me also and i don't think i would have also been able to make such a big decision on my own you know, at uh, at a stage where you already have a branch that too you have surgery which you've always wanted to do and then to leave something which is so good and of that stature and then to move on and start your preparation with all that uh you know you have those doubts at the back of your mind that what if i do not get what i'm looking out for so how was that time when you had to take that decision and uh, didn't people around you actually object to that especially family and friends didn't they counsel you a lot to continue with what you already had in hand everyone said that it was like what happened is for good and you stay in that like and is they they were you know encouraging uh, yes. to Stay there because, like, getting a good rank, it was a great rank, man. Like, get, getting getting yes. good rank is not just hard work. There is also like factor depending on it. Yes. And also, like, what if the other time? What if you give one more time? What if the D day is not good for you? What if you mess it up and do something? Like, there were there were people telling that. But what I had that what determination I had that is like what gave me confidence is like I had my preparation done well, man. I was confident in my preparation. I I I, I could give like two or three times. It doesn't matter. Like my preparation was up to the mark. Only thing that I fumbled last time was the revision. Like I, you know, I did not properly revise. Pro I did not properly revise, and the lengthy notes which I had made previously was too much to cover in the end. So somehow, somewhere, I fumbled over there, and I could not complete anything. Uh, or like I could complete only half of the syllabus or something and give the exam. So that's when I thought, "Ki I, I know every, I know all the basics, and I just have to revise it properly with a you know proper plan." And schedule so then it can be easily done. That's what gave me confidence, and uh, I had to design that. Right, so that's pretty interesting. And you know, with in your case, it will be a little different from what I asked the other students. But in your, uh, you know, in your scenario, what I would want to ask you, let's talk about your preparation till November I N I C T because you said that you had done your preparation pretty well, and it was all about main videos and all the bulky notes which everyone has to go through once at least. First, we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about how you did your revision after you decided to move on from surgery and give another attempt. So let's start with the beginning when. did you start how did you approach all 19 subjects in the first go um, um like initially the first two years were sticking to basics ma'am like i read through all the like, standard textbooks and all right and then from the start of third year i started to watch uh, video lectures and started to you know get back to this uh, like preparation phase right so that's when i started to make notes as well Like in the third year and fourth year, in the middle of fourth year, like ab almost about one year, ma'am, it took for me to complete all these uh, like clinical subjects as well as 
I could, you know, come somehow combine this uh, basics also, like clinical, uh, pre-clinical subject as well, somewhere in between, because I was so thorough with it, with uh, like in the initial past two years. So I was not, you know, uncomfortable with that. And I used to finish, I finished all those things in August and year. Na? Then the ninth, ninth semester, like uh, the sixth month entirely was for taught. Na? And then in, in, during internship, uh, also it was a bit of hectic. We had, uh, you know, village posting and all those, like they had made, you know, serious, the attendance and all those things in, in there also so it's like not get much time i i started my like serious preparation from where somewhere in june july okay. uh, and then uh, i i had started it then I, I i started to give gts that's when like it hit me like uh, I'm, I'm the way i'm preparing is good but uh, the way it should be prepared for exam is totally different strategy entirely changed over there so that's why i try to do it but uh, like I did how much is possible till November, and I, I, you know, I, I know that with AIM ask uh, about like they ask those specific things, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, like mainly the first year, second years, and uh, some of the specific like you can ta- you can you know predict the exams in such a way. So I just picked up the picked up such things and I just got thorough with it, and I did not study entire thing at all uh, in during internship. So I just made made sure to key repeated questions, repeated topics should be thoroughly read. Then that's how I gave for November exam. Na? Right. So, I, so you went through the main videos for all the 19 subjects basically to yes. clear your concepts, but that obviously requires you to be pretty consistent and dedicated from the beginning, right? This is not something that anyone can finish off right in the end moment. So obviously that's a must and everyone has to clear their concepts. But uh, all of us do believe that these entrance exams, getting a rank like in your case, an amazing rank like yours, uh, it's a game of revision. I mean, how concise can you make your syllabus and how many times can you revise that? That is the real game changer. So what do you think was the, the difference in your revision for the November attempt and for this attempt? November attempt like I was having confidence ki ek bar to pura uh, jo bhi notes banaya tha pura ho jaye karke I was of his confidence okay. and I overestimated it and fell short of it. So then I got to know okay no it never touched the main notes now jo bhi kiya hai like whatever I have done it's there in your head like don't go through there and like mess up your head just focus on whatever the revision uh, right. you know notes there revision things the whatever the you know faculty are telling and just uh, I'll uh, you know trust the trust the faculty and just study that. And go to the exam like you'll be confident also and even if something they ask out of this now you have, you have all those things in the back of your mind it might come in handy over there right so uh like we always keep telling students the bulky notes are for clearing your concepts and then you come down to frequently asked topics and questions which help you revise things in a shorter span of time coming to the next most important thing uh like how did you approach the q bank which is the most frequently asked question by all students so what was your strategy for the q bank did you read the entire explanation did you narrow it down so how did you go about it Q banks were actually good. Like uh, what is the explanation are really good, and they are highlighting each point way to focus, right. way to focus, and uh, they are also attaching uh, some important points along with the, each Q bank, and also they are tagging the videos. Okay. So if we, if at all we don't know if you're if at all like we are not thorough with a topic, so we'll go back to them and like I would watch the videos. Everything would have been created by that. Right. So actually, Q Bank is something which is students believe Q Bank is just for assessment. Ke theory padha hai, so I'll be able to assess. But actually, Q Bank is also a learning tool only, right? Correct. It's so it's that, yes. So much better even for revising also. Man. Exactly. So it's like another tool to learn something rather than just analyzing that kitne questions thi koi hai. You should actually go on to seeing ke what is your approach to a question. The next frequently asked question is what was your strategy for grand tests? The frequency, the way of assessment, everything about GTs. I'm not a person by giving GTs. Well, I, I, as I told you, like, I did not do GTs work my UG and intern, during internship, the first GT I gave was somewhere in August. So, GTs change entirely. What topic should we focus on? What topic should we not read? Or like it's not important, and uh, how should you you know approach the in exam time in real scenario? These all things you know. Initial first GT was obviously it was very bad, 
and then when we you know keep on assessing ourselves and see that they are falling short and uh, you no know, working upon them like sub- subsequently it happened like the gd score obviously increased for this and uh, like how should it be you know approach is like it, one thing is like give as early as possible it, it doesn't right. matter the preparation is no matter you know what what sort of uh, you know like uh, plan you are having or anything just give as early as as possible and then uh, uh, like give frequent levels matlab like, consistency bhi banana hmm you give that one gt and do, like you give another gt after two months or something aisa aisa nahi karna like you have to give the gt like you plan it accordingly like 15 days you give one gt correct and then in the within 15 days like whatever the things the topics or what that gt have you know pointed out so like were you analyzing the answers on the same day or were you dividing it in the coming days for yourself the, uh, i used to analyze on the same day itself ma'am i used to okay. you know like take all the points and the, the thing almost uh, the, i also did ki wherever i did i frequently did mistake you no know? i used to take that point i used to take that topic and i used to do it my in separate notebook or separate pdf Perfect. yes so so that i i should not make the mistake these things are these things are being asked again and again i should not mm-hmm. make mistake such things so that's what i made sure and also like there used to be some entire topics to be read like for example like there used to be uh, after that i completely forgot and then like i should revise it properly those things i used to you know i used to keep a schedule ki okay do din ke baad like i'll take entire day for this entire day for that so all these weaker subjects you used to get to know more when you used to appear for a grand test because obviously the analysis tells you that these are your weaker points and you need to focus more on those so i believe you've given some very golden advice which we keep telling students but when they get to hear from you who's accomplished so much they would you know it reinforces it that you have to start early with your gts you have to be consistent and that is exactly my next question um every day is not going to be a sunny day it's there is going to be rain and thunder on certain days so on those days when you felt down and out and you were you know there obviously especially after giving up on surgery the doubt must have become uh, manifold that what if as you said what if that day is not going to be my day and you know if things go in the opposite direction so on those days when things were not right because it's a mindset and how did you cope up with the stress and how did you cope up with that loop of negativity that we tend to go into and the best thing to do uh, when we feel so much you know negative thing is like uh, just take a break man Like just forget about whatever has happened. Breaks are so underrated in this preparation. Yes, ma'am. Like it feels people feel that they when you take break, like you are wasting time and anxiety. Right. Like so, but like you have to also think that you are recharging your brain and approaching the things you know, you know, new perspective and thing. So I recommend like like whenever you feel such way, take a break. Do whatever you like during that time, and then come back and you fight harder again. and like like give the gts in a you know fresher note or uh, like approach it in a you know in different perspective right so that's what we also tell students that when you take a break for taking a break don't come on telegram or instagram and start asking your same doubts again and again your break should be something which is away from the academics maybe a change in where you're studying a change in the environment or something which is different from just academics i think everyone needs that 30 45 minutes in a day when you're not thinking about this exam because it helps you come back in a fresh and a better right so um yes dr vedant you have anyway given us uh, some very precious advice but uh, since it's your day and uh, we would want that you you know it's your stage and anyone whom you want to thank who has a lot of people behind the scenes also ha- must have worked hard for this day in your life so the stage is all yours anyone whom you want to thank from your teachers to family please go ahead first of all i would like to thank all my family ma'am they have been supportive yeah. throughout ma'am whenever i said like i want to leave and come they were supportive throughout and uh, secondly i would also like to thank the prep ladder and the you know facility they have provided and you know the, the handy things made made my preparation so easy and also the faculties like, especially i would like to mention deepak marwa sir and uh, of course you ma'am <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, and it's very kind and humble of you that you are uh, mentioning our names and giving us credit because we know that the amount of effort it takes from the students' end is many times more than the effort that we try to put in. But uh, and yes, uh, a special thanks from my side to your family also for supporting you in such an important yet a difficult decision in your life, because uh, this is something a branch is something which stays with you for a lifetime, and if that point of time you wouldn't have received that support from them. 
them you would have been stuck in so many situations in life for the rest of your life and now uh, touch wood with god's grace you are going to enter into better avenues and something that you like right so all the best for that and thank you so much for giving us time and sharing your journey with us uh, from the entire prep ladders team we want to wish you all the very best for your future journey thank you so much thank you so much thank you Thank you.